All right, so back over here, the other side of the farm. Gonna move some calves today, uh, take them to the sale. So we've had them pinned up for a little bit. Uh, been trying to fatten them up as much as we could. Uh, we got a borrowed trailer, so you know lights don't work too good on it. So I'm gonna repair the lights. And so we're legal. Nothing like being legal. And then uh, that way we can head to the head to the sale and drop the cows off. The actual sales tomorrow. This is Sunday, so you drop them off on Sunday for the sale on Monday. And then. Hope they bring just gobs of money. So we got Jeff already working on them. And once we get the lights in there, uh, something's going on with the wirings. I got to straighten it out. Well, we shouldn't have. We shouldn't have. Uh, the marker lights on all the time though. So something's something's not wired right. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, if y'all give us just a little bit we'll get it all figured out and straightened straightened out. And hopefully get it going. I need to uh you bring a test light. I do. I need to check that wire before you attach them and see what's on what. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only I'd attach is the ground wire. All right, I'm just gonna see why. And that would be the ground wires of buying. I think, I think they're hooked up. Let me turn the switch on. Okay. Turn the parking lights on, turn the ignition switch on. Okay. And turn the emergency flashers on. That way we'll have a look at the ground. I mean, look at the break in. Let's see if we got a good ground on here. I'm going to test test light to the ground. It that the trailer has. All right, you can see that we got, that'll be your brake and turn. That'll be your parking light, so. All right, turn the parking lights off. Let me see if this power goes away. So the power didn't go away, which means on the trailer wiring, it's actually connected to the battery positive. So I'm going to have to drop that connector down and switch it. Uh, I'm going to have to drop the trailer connector down and switch it to uh, the other wire and switch it to the terminal for the parking lights. So we'll go do that. His tailgate must weigh 300 pounds for some reason. I don't know, if, I haven't looked into it yet, but it's all you can do to pick it up with one hand. I know it has the old man assist on it for the little step and ladder. Uh, Jeff, you got any tools out here? Uh, Phillips head screwdriver, definitely. You don't? So what I'm going to try to do is figure out 
what I may not do is not change it here. Well, Jeff, I think it's probably going to be up there is where the problem is going to be. Okay. It's not going to be in this end, I don't think. I can switch it up there. All right. There's a box up there, yeah. I think there's a box up there. It's gonna be a royal pain in the butt, but it hooked up. But all right, so we're gonna get that straightened out, and uh, I'll come back and show you what I did on it. Okay, I'm back. This is where the issue was. Uh, just to give you a synopsis on trailer wiring. The norm for the industry is yellow is left, green is right. Then white is usually going to be your ground. On this one, I'm pretty sure they're going to have black as the uh, power supply for auxiliary lights and other stuff inside the trailers. And then on this one, they've got red as being parking brake, which is normally blue. So anyway, we there was a couple crossed up in here so anyway uh i've got pretty sure i've got it all working i've got to get this all put back together it needs another end on it to be honest but i don't have one on me and i don't have time today to go and get one so we're going Try to work on what we got and hope it all stays together because this end is kind of ready. Also, on this has been drug a couple times. If you look at the top, there's a bar that fits at the top. Uh, when that lid comes down, it actually catches this and makes sure it's locked in place. Also, another problem that you'll have with well, the seven pole which is the industry wide, most on all new trucks it comes with. This is the female side of it. On the male side, it's basically a piece of metal that's bent like that. What'll happen over a period of time is it gets collapsed, doesn't make a good contact with this. Everything shut off, and you remember you got one that's still got power all the time. You can take an angle pick and stick in between those and spread it back out so it makes a better contact on this. And a lot of times you don't need a new connector, uh, that's the issue with it is it's just not making a good contact so, right. Plugging it up Making sure that's locked Let me get y'all out of the bed of the truck And I'm going to turn his parking lights on and I'm going to turn on these flashers everybody gets confused with that on most American-made vehicles, unless you have a yellow separate tail light on your vehicle, your turn signal and your brake light are on the are on the same circuit. You have a, a counselor that cancels cancels it out, either in the steering column depends on the year model or it's done through electronics on the newer ones. So all you got to do is turn your emergency flashers on. If you got blinking on the tail lights, that means you're going to have brake lights and uh, turn signals, and then turn your parking lights on. So. I know the parking lights work. I can see, I can see up at the top that the running lights are on. I'll we'll walk back here to the back, and you can see right here. I got parking lights. Now I'm going back here and check. Uh, we have no flashing now, and I know that was working before, so. Either one of those wires that pulled out of that ready connector or it's not plugged up good. So my next step is to unplug it and pull that housing back off and make sure it didn't pull out. Uh, have you got the have you got that side wired? I got the other side wired. This side's not yet. Okay. So all right, so I'm gonna put you on hold again and do that. Okay. So we got it all figured out. Problem was is uh, these are Amazon LED lights and didn't have the wire 
They don't have a true color code on it. Their black is the ground on their light. Uh, tan is the parking light. And red is your turn signal. So There we go. All right, so now we got all these cows over here. Uh, dummy standing up in the feed trough, as usual. Uh, these calves and some more somewhere else. There's another one in there. Uh, that one's going too. That's a younger heifer. So we're going to take those here in just a little bit to the cow barn. See if we can get them sold. And uh, I'll hit likes, uh, notifications, whatever. I'm unsure of how to do all that. But anyway. Hopefully we get some more videos going and talk to you later. Bye.